Ladies and gentlemen, can you please stand up? Welcome to the stage, Diamond Director, Kui Xiu. How are we all? Who's had a great day today? How good were our international guests? Learn a lot? That's great. So I guess what I want to do today is spend a bit of time with you. I, I like training people and giving people really good information based on timing. And I feel like t today is the right time to talk about building your foundations. So really stripping everything back and being able to build a business um, that can be lasted, uh, sustainable, and long term. So when we look at this here, we look at an iceberg. And we look above the water. That's you. People can only see above the water. But to make you up, the sum of the skills, the sum of the ingredients that contribute to you, like your character, your work ethic, your ambition, your ability to dream, um, your vision, that's under the water. All right? And you have to fill that out as good as you possibly can to be able to build a rock solid business. All right? And I'm going to share a bit about my story at the end, but could totally relate to Kathy and Paula sharing their story as well um, today about the importance of sometimes, you know, you weren't necessarily born with this stuff, you've got to grow into that person. I'm a really good example of that. Um, and when I share my story later on, you'll really understand that um, I've had to do it from the bottom up. And what I want people to understand in the room today is what's possible. You can start and make that decision today and become the person that you want to become and your business will grow to where you grow. So I look at foundations and it doesn't matter whether you're in Jeunesse building a business or whether you're focused on your fitness and health or you're focused on education or career, it's a process. So if you want to get fit and healthy, you are where you are today, and it's going to be a process to get to where you want to be. And if it's health and fitness, it might be drinking more water, it might be eating better food, it might be cutting out some food. It's exercising. And day after day after day, you commit to the process until you get the result. Same applies of education. You want to become a lawyer or a doctor or an engineer, whatever that is, you know, there's lots of hours of study. You know, going to the law library, there's assignments, there's weekend work, there's study, 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 turning up to lectures till you become that. It's a process. Again, if you look at career, you get your education, you get your job, and then you work and get results, and then you get respected, and then you progress in your career as well. So it doesn't matter whether you want success at network marketing or anything, it's going to be a process, but the key thing is you need to make that decision and then follow through with a really good plan. And a lot of that is around that building your foundations for your business. Now, when you think about Jeunesse, they started, this is their 10th year, the 9th, the 9th, the 9th. They had two products only. They had five distributors only. They had no testimonials, no success stories. They built their business by belief and vision and commitment to going out there and continuing to tell the story. And they went from one meeting to the next meeting to the next meeting. A new distributor joined. Then they had more business and more business, and they just continued to do the work that gets the results. That's what I see the top leaders in this industry, to people that want to be top leaders, they're not prepared to do the work to get the results. And that's OK, because everyone has their own goals. Some people may just want to make enough money to pay off their credit card. Some people may want to make enough money to quit their job in three or five years. Whatever that goal is for you, that is personal for yourself. But the point is that it doesn't matter what it is, you're going to have to do the work to get the results. 
and I always talk about there's work and then there's productive work. Productive work is doing the things that you probably don't want to do. That's picking up the phone and calling people. That's prospecting people. That's doing presentations in coffee shops. These, this scares a lot of people and they'll find a million excuses not to do it. And when we look back at that iceberg and you're that part that's above the water, you've got to fill out the below bit and become that full iceberg. And that is embracing fear, embracing challenges. And you do that by developing a rock solid mindset. And building a mindset is a skill. You know, if you listen to Paula and Kathy talking earlier, they were talking about listening to all the cassette tapes, listening to a lot of Jim Rohn, listening to a lot of personal development, personal growth. That all contributes to building a good mindset. Every week, I would listen between two and five hours of different audios. Just again, on YouTube, it's free. Go on there and I'll f uh, follow my favorite people I like listening to and I'll draw inspiration or education or a skill out of that. Now, often, I am doubling down on my time. Kathy would talk about doing it in a car. For me, it's when I exercise. So if I go for a run, I want to listen to something that stimulates my mind as well. If I go to the gym, I want to listen to something that stimulates my mind as well. So it's not costing me in time, it's me doubling down on my time. But you need to develop that mindset because you're going to be challenged. And everyone faces challenge, not just in Jeunesse, just in life. It doesn't matter what it is, but you need to build a mindset to prepare yourself for the challenges. And if you can do that, you're halfway home. You're halfway home. Always talk about focus on the flowers, not on the weeds. All right, so we have a lot in Jeunesse to focus on. So focus on what we have to go out and build the business, not what we don't have. All right? If you're in your garden, would you want a really thriving weed garden or would you like beautiful flowers? All right? So you'll focus on growing the garden to make it look good. So with Jeunesse, I want you to focus on what we have, not what we don't have. We have so much to work with with our youth enhancement system, with the Jeunesse story, with the success that we've had all around the world. Your business will only grow to where you go. I touched on this personal growth path, but I always talk about it in, um, I learned this, I guess, really solid growth model um, from you know, one of the smartest businessmen in the world, Ray Dalio, and he talks about take action, learn lesson, evolve. So take action, learn lesson, evolve. So you pick up the phone, you call someone, that's taking action. They say no. What was the lesson learned there? You learn the lesson, and it may be take action. The lesson may actually be a yes. So you journal that down too. What did I do well there? What didn't I do well there? Then the evolution is the improvement. So I made a mistake, now I'm improving. All right, so we take action, learn lesson, we evolve. And that's a really simplified growth model to help you grow and develop your skills and become better at being a good network marketer. If you're not prepared to grow, if you have an empty head, you'll have empty pockets. All right, so it's really important that you continue to grow and fill that mind with really good positive thoughts. So when I'm talking about simplified foundations to implement in the business, I always talk about you know, your why. Again, it's been spoken about earlier today. The key to your why is to really put yourself into that situation. Talk about list and building your list. It's been spoken about today, a time management plan, becoming an expert and an action plan. So when we talk about why, it's a really, sometimes can be very, um, you know, people don't quite understand it, but it's a really important and, and powerful thing that you need to develop. So I, I created what I call my work-life vision book, which is working on eight key areas, and if you can improve in all eight key areas, you can improve in your life. 
And a part of that is dreaming, imagining what life could be like. Now, in my personal example, um, my wife and I really loved uh, going down to the Mornington Peninsula. So we started spending a lot of time down there. We got married down there, we're going on four or five weekend getaways down there every year, and last year we decided to buy a house down there just for a, a getaway place. So that was become a, a manifested over time, but we fell in love with what we were trying to achieve, and then all the work done with Janessa over the years had built up to a point where we were in a position to be able to do that. So we're sort of living in the moment of what we wanted to achieve, and then we finally achieve that. So it's really about making your dreams and your why manifest. And you need to put yourself into a position where you start, you know, yeah, start dreaming again. That's what's really important for your why. Your list. Here's your database. Every big company in the world classifies their database as their biggest asset. I always talk about five key categories to your list. There's boiling hot market, warm market, lukewarm market, cold market, and icy cold market. So your hot market are people that you don't really need to explain anything to. So if you're in hospital, they would be your visitors. So you say, hey, I've just started a new business. I'm looking for a few customers. Would you be interested in trying our products? You know, you don't really have to say a lot because they are your absolute inner sanctum. Your warm market would be anyone in your phone book, so make sure you put all those people down, or anyone you have a personal conversation with. Now, it, I, I broke it into a lukewarm market, and it's a little bit what um, Julie was talking about today with the influencer side, because social media has now become, I guess, a network of our list in its own right. So I talk about your social media contacts that you engage with. So they're people that might like your posts, but you don't necessarily, you've never had a phone call with them. They might comment or you might comment on there. So there's this artificial relationship through, um, through, through social media. Your cold market is, I, I call it everyone on your social media network. So if you've got 30,000 Instagram followers, that's just cold market. You, you don't have a relationship with 30,000 Instagram followers. And an icy cold market is everyone else that's not on your social media, 7.2 billion people. Everyone has an opportunity in this room to reach out to 7.2 billion people in an icy cold market. So I really encourage everyone to develop their list and anyone that they bring into the business that has a vision to earn money in Jeunesse to again go and build their list as well. All right, so you've got to duplicate, and we'll talk about that in a second. Time management plan. This is really important because this is a profession, and 97% of the people that join this business or this industry will do it part-time alongside of what they're already doing. So if they're busy with work, family, career, sport, hobbies, um, spending time with kids, they really need to have a really good time management plan to factor in the hours that they can do their business. And if you can factor in somewhere between 5 and 15 hours a week, you can build a really good Jeunesse business but it's important to be consistent, and the only way to be consistent is commit to a time management plan. That might be your lunch break every single day. It might be driving home from work every single night or on the way to work every single morning that you do the calls and the required activities, but it's really important that you um, have a really good time management plan. Becoming a Jeunesse expert. If you want to be great at anything in life, you need to become an expert. You are absolutely doomed in business with Jeunesse if you can't exp explain the compensation plan 
or you don't know how to loosely explain the products. You don't have to go into the exact science, but just explain it generically, each and every product. If you can't explain the story of Jeunesse and Wendy and Randy and where they've come from and the history of our sales growth chart from year one through to year 10, your prospects will ask you that question eventually and at worst you can fail once, not be able to answer the question once but if you get asked the question twice and you can't answer it again, that is an epic fail if you want to build a business. So I always say to people, you have 30 days to become a Jeunesse expert. All right, so I want you to know absolutely everything about Jeunesse you need to know in that period of time, including all the social media handles which provide you with a lot of updates. All right, so you really need to be in the know. Know when there's product launches, know when there's events coming on, know when uh, Scott's doing a, a, a monthly update. Know any single update from the company, you just need to know that information. Have an action plan. I always talk about 90-day cycles. So I always like to look at my events calendar for the next 90 days, and I work towards each event in that 90-day cycle. And I want to um, you know, make sure if I'm going to New Zealand in three weeks' time, I'm prospecting people now, not letting them know three days before. Have a really good action plan in place. Last year, I partnered up with four entrepreneurs, not in Jeunesse, and every Monday morning at 8 a.m., we did an accountability call. And that accountability call was we had to commit to goals that we wanted to achieve and we had to go through each one for the week as accountability and, you know, if you didn't do it, you had to explain why to each person on the call. There was four of us every single week for last year. So I used to say I wanted to talk to seven, no, have meaningful conversations with seven new people every single week. You know, I wanted to do 15 social media posts that would generate interest. So I had all these tangible activities that I needed to commit to. It was all about building a habit, all right? And habits drive your goals. They sort of drive each other. If you don't have very big goals, you don't really need the good habits to, d to work towards the goals. But if you um, don't have a good habits, plan, you won't be able to work towards your goal. So I built that into my weekly routine. Every, every 8 a.m. Monday morning, we would check in and we'll go through the goals that we wanted to achieve in our business. Duplication. This here is the art of the industry. Mastering the art of duplication. Someone said to me once, you can't enroll your way to the top, you can't sleep your way to the top, the only way is to build your way to the top. All right, so the important thing about that is you need to identify people that you can work with in the business and you need to create a perfect replica of yourself. So you think about the franchising model as a concept. What they do is have a franchise, then they sell their system and have perfectly duplicated systems all around. That's what we're trying to do. We bring someone into the business. In the first 48 hours, I want them to go through their why, their list management, and a time management plan, phone call. We review. Then we start going through the next steps. They bring someone into the business, first 48 hours, go through their why, their time management plan, their list profile, phone call. If you want to build a team of 200,000 people and you haven't developed duplication, the right behaviours to build the business, it will just fall over. All right? Or you might strike it lucky at some stage. So I always talk about... Um, say, Angela coming to my business through me duplicating a friend 
who duplicated a friend, who duplicated a friend, who duplicated, and then you find a good leader. All right? That only happens by sticking to a process. All right? Get a really good getting started happening and uh, following through and just yeah, keep it simple. So I sort of wanted to touch on a bit of my, uh, I, I guess, childhood in a way because, yeah, Kathy hit it on the head really, really well earlier. You know, sometimes you know, people might say, Craig, you're a diamond, you're traveling around the world, you're living the life, you know, it's all good for you, you know, it's okay. But it wasn't really like that. I, and, and you don't know what you don't know in that situation. I grew up on the west coast of Tasmania, three, three hours away from school beyond year 10. So I had to leave home when I was about 15 years old, um, which was to go to a, a, like a boarding school effectively. Um, but yeah, I didn't really grow, you didn't grow up knowing any, anything different. We didn't have a lot of money, but we didn't miss out on a lot either. I had absolute, incredibly loving parents that, you know, I speak to them every week and love them dearly, and they did absolutely everything for our entire family. But I always just become a fighter. Um, and I talk about, you know, built on character, hard work, trust, love, having a lo loving family. Um, while I'm talking about that, I was listening to an audio earlier in the year about love, um, and it was an interview, and it's easy to say the word, I, re I love you effectively, but it's the art of doing and the activity that means something. So it's more like giving someone a hug, telling you love them rather than just walking into the house every day and saying, oh, I love you all, like that. So it's the act of the, um, the word rather than just the word. But growing up in that environment, I was given and blessed with all the right ingredients to help me grow up and become the person that I am today but I, I wasn't given the silver spoons or the private school education or, the, or, or anything, really. It was just, um, yeah, I, I worked it out for myself, effectively. And I was watching, I saw on the news uh, last year, you can still buy a house in Australia for $50,000. You think about that. The median house price in Australia is like $600,000. So I, I'm like going, that has to be where I grew up. So I go straight on to the website, therealestate.com. Sure enough, the first house that showed up was the house I grew up in. So um, those photos are off, off that uh, listing, so that, that's not... The, but it gives you an idea of what the house, et cetera, is like. So very, very, very humble beginnings, but just grew up in a loving family. But I am where I am today through just hard work. I've put myself through university, um, so I had to do university and fund it, that myself. Um, and I wasn't a great reader, I wasn't great at writing, I wasn't anything, but I still got an honours degree just through hard work. Um, I bought my first business when I was 21. Knew nothing about business, but through hard work, I built that business and four years in, I was uh, fitness professional of the year. Um, that didn't happen through anything other than hard work. Um, when I got into this industry, I had five gyms at the time. I was getting up at 10 to 5 every morning to open the gym, getting home at 8 o'clock every night, and I was doing network marketing around every spare minute that I had. And I did that for years until Jeunesse came along, and I still did it for uh, probably 12 to 18 months, but 
I got myself into a position through hard work. All right? So I want people to understand right back to the iceberg. <laughs> people can look at what's on the surface, but underneath is um, really what, what you're building here. And this here, uh, my mum sent it to me recently, is the day I left home. I left home and left them this letter um, on, on, the, on the kitchen table. So, pretty crafty little, I had a, a LJ Tirana. <laughs> but you know, I, I wrote that letter and I think back now, when mum sent it through to me a few weeks ago, I think, wow, like that, to, to write something like that at 18 years of age to, you know, show your appreciation, that's sort of the character, all right? And, you know, I, d I just thought I'd just share that with you today. But Paula did say this earlier. This again come from my childhood. Uh, it was a grade 10 principle. If it is to be, it is up to me. And I was in the grade 10 assembly, ready to em embark on leaving home. And um, that sentence always stuck with me. And I just took action on that. And just every little step forward, I've just continued to take one step forward every single day. And half of it's about taking responsibility. It's your business. I would love everyone in the room to be a diamond, but I can't do it for you, all right? I'm here to help you, I can't do it for you. So you have to take that responsibility. And it is true, you know, the grass is not greener on the other side, it is greener where you water it. We have an amazing opportunity here with Jeunesse. Our products have never really been seen before in this industry. People need to understand what you have hold of right now. I mean, we have a bit under 200 people in the room. For some people might look at that as, oh, there's not many people here. I look at that as, wow, look at the opportunity I have. Because if there's only 200 people in here and there's 22 million people in Australia, plenty of people for me to work on, all right? And if people in the audience won't do it, I will. Because I am fiercely determined to build this business and build it big. And I would love to be here in two years' time, in three years' time. And I'd love everyone to be here and having the success that they deserve, having the success that they want and what the self-talk is, you know, You've, you've fulfilled that potential. So I want people to, I guess, reflect on what they've learned today because there's been some really powerful messages, great content. We've got a great product launch. We've got another great day tomorrow. But make the decision and then take action. And, um, you know, I really hope you all can keep working forward and, and, and work forward on building your, your dreams. So thank you very much. Don't wait,